Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a food pantry haul for you. This is our county-run food pantry. They allow you to come in twice a month. The one is a day that everything is pre-picked out for you. You don't get a choice. I mean, you can say no to stuff, but like you can't choose what you want. Um, and then the other day, you get to pick whatever day you come in on the days that they're open throughout the month. So if you need to come in at the middle of the month, the beginning, the end, whatever. Um, and that day you get to shop. So they'll have shelves um, kind of like a grocery store where you get to pick out like so many off of this shelf, that kind of thing. So, and I'll kind of explain as we go. So today I'm actually going to start down here. The lady was in today that knows that I like sparkling water. And so she had, she said, I have a bunch of these and asked me if I wanted them. I said, yes, I did not realize they are sweetened. So I can't have them, but my kids really enjoy being able to have a treat, um, drink every once in a while with dinner we usually do water kefir which is a probiotic drink that i make but um every once in a while we do one of these fun drinks so that will go for those and that's fine and she gave me a whole bench of them um then we there's a shelf that's all non-food items there's a lot of times there's like over-the-counter medication toothpaste uh vitamins those kind of things and so today i picked up a thing of deodorant and some kids toothbrushes because those are always helpful uh fresh fruits and veggies wise they didn't have but oranges that was all they had and there was one other thing like a stir fry mix that was there when i first got there but somebody had taken it by the time i came through which is totally fine so i did get a bag of oranges though um uh, meats we got to pick one item and so i picked this nice big thing of chicken thighs yum we got a gallon of 2% milk. They also had eggs, which I passed on because we have egg-laying chickens. A bottle of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Amazing. And this one is different. It is. It has honey in it. So it's sweetened, which I would say would make it nice for like if you're just downing it for health reasons. But I also thought that would be nice if you're making like a salad dressing with it, that it would already be pre-sweetened. Um... A bag of flour, always useful. Uh, you could pick out two snack items. So my kids talked me into, really pulled my arm on two different things of chocolates. These are like an artisan-inspired chocolates, caramel, hazelnut, raspberry, and dark chocolate. Yum. And then one of mine has been asking for Lindor truffles if they have them again because they're really good. I mean, come on. Uh, we got to pick out, on top of the sparkling water that she gave me, a uh, seven drinks because we have seven members of our, of our household so one per person so I just threw a couple of these on the counter so that you could see them and we got some of these before in a different flavor and you see why they're there the little nub on the bottom is not tipped in so they don't sit nice on the counter so that's literally the only reason that they're at the food pantry we got to pick up a handful of these uh, little individual wrapped chocolates and these salad crackers they had like boxes of them and you just reach in and get a handful literally um some granola you got to pick out a cereal so my kids really liked this this time this past time that they got this and so they asked for another thing of it you could pick out one canned fruit and they had these and you can see that's why it's there is the packaging is a little bit worse for the wear but we don't care and then you could do um four vegetables canned vegetables so i did two cans of sweet peas and two cans of black beans they had miscellaneous canned shelf, and so I did two of the chicken breasts and two of the um, turkey, and these, I just have so many uses for them there. Like, look, you can make pot pie with them. Come on. Um, and then they have a condiment shelf with, like, mustard, ketchup. They also have, like, canned soup, the things that don't fit into the category of fruits or vegetables. So um, I picked up two things of peanut butter because peanut butter is life in my house. And then we got loaded up with bread items. So uh, we did, let's see here. I'm not even going to explain how this was broken down because it was weird. They had like four shelves that you got to pick so many off of each shelf. So we picked up these uh, non, these make great pizza crusts for the kids. Some everything sandwich rolls. I just thought those with some lunch meat on them. I may end up doing that for lunch today. Uh, my husband can do the keto, we eat, my husband and I eat low carb, he can do these, they're not gluten free, so I can't, totally fine, um, but he can do them, so, and he loves the Hawaiian rolls, so these are Hawaiian hot dog rolls, I don't know that he'll even use them for hot dogs, he may just eat them because, you know, they're delicious, um, a thing of 
crescent rolls, and these are the little mini ones. My kids love those. This looked interesting. Pan Sabro, Sab Sabo sweet bread. Um, and they're just like these long loaves. And I kind of think they're going to, like, texture-wise, they kind of remind me of the Hawaiian roll bread. So I was thinking I would cut that open um, and then make, like, sub sandwiches out of those. Maybe we'll do that for lunch today. <laughs> and then this was another thing um, they had. This is roasted garlic bread that I thought would make really good grilled cheese sandwiches. So we're definitely getting into um, heavy sandwich season for lunches for the kids. So, yeah. All right. That is everything. I'm tired. I'm going to put, excuse me, I'm going to put this away and then go make some lunch. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.